it is parenting essentials and it is the season of joy celebrations thanksgiving and laughter with many more goodies and let's just reflect over the year 2021 as parents so i know we have a lot of expectations why not just talk about expectation the year is running to an end we are going to be talking about our expectation on children but for today i want to talk about expectation on yourself as a parent caregiver so what were your expectations at the beginning of the year i know we have said a lot before i continue let me remind us of our major work as parents what is our duty as parent is to love and love and love again i've said that over and again and that word cannot be overemphasized. we can't but just love our children over and again i've said that even when they're doing something bad when they're doing something that is terrible when they're doing something that is making you cry they're doing something that is very bad that all eyes can see that this is very very bad your job my job is to continue to love 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 in the loving is the way there will be solution to that particular problem back to our expectations at the beginning of the year a lot of us wrote down that we want to be a better parent we want to improve in our parenting skills we all said a whole lot of things at the beginning of the year 2021 that we want to get better in our parenting we want to be a better version of ourselves we want to be able to parent our kids in a better direction and correct all our past mistakes and errors one of the things i believe you and i said this year is to make communication a priority is to love them the more you know show them give them reassurance that we indeed love them a lot of things that we said like you want to you want to model what you want to see we said that this year i'm going to do a lot of modeling and uh, a whole lot of things that i cannot quickly mention i just want you to take a moment and think about what were the things that you said this year i'm going to get better this year i'm going to do better did you do them were you able to achieve all these expectations of yours if yes congratulations i give you a very round of applause bravo to you and if not one thing that you can do in order to not repeat the same mistakes or these same things that you put down at the beginning of the year and you were not able to achieve is for you to see reasons why you couldn't achieve them like making communication a priority but you were never around this year even to communicate with your child talk less of making communication a priority I'm not blaming you. I've said it that several in my videos. Maybe you got a better job this year. And that job required a lot of time for you to be present. Congratulations. Don't forget you're doing all those things for the benefit of your children. So you don't have to feel bad. You don't have to beat yourself to that. It's just for the betterment of your children. However, we being present and communicating to our children is also a priority. So look for ways how do you go about it 2022 how can i make communication a priority maybe you come late at work and your children are most of the time is their bedtime and you couldn't catch up to know what is going on in their lives and to even ask how was your day how was your school ensure in all this your busy schedule plan out how can you make communication a priority in 2022 you cannot just be busy for seven days a week 24 hours per day it is not possible in achieving an excellent parenting in being a positive parent and seeing the result in the life of our growing glory you cannot but find time in out of your busy schedule to ensure you meet up with what is going on in the life of your kids so as you take that job in 2022 ensure that you map it out there's a way you can plan it with your boss or plan it with yourself and say this day please i need a time out or this weekend i need to be home with my children it is determination it is determination you can do it i can do it please let's achieve whatever we expect to achieve per year and if you are unable to achieve them this year don't beat yourself next year is another year we can keep pushing this year one of the things you said to yourself is you're going to model what you want to see in the life of your children you want to be a good role model but all through the year you were too busy you were not around if you're not around how can you model you cannot be at your work and be modeling what you want to see even if you find a day to model what you want to see in the life of your children when are you going to see the reflection how do you see if they get it right 
So we talk about modeling. You set the seal, you're going to work on their limit. You want to give them boundaries. You want them to have limits. You want to work on the consequences on everything they have done. But yet you were not around. You, of course, you took a nanny or an house help or a nanny or whatever you call them. But you know, when even when you're giving them these rules, it cannot be like the way you want it. You need to be there to see. So those are the things I really want us to have a reflection on and to work on ourselves next year. I also want to be a better parent next year. Oh, yeah, really want to be a better parent next year. I'm sitting down and I'm thinking now from January what were the things I said I was going to do to better my parenting skills this year. Did I achieve them? And what are the things I couldn't achieve? And why was I not able to achieve them? These are the thick sheets that I'm checking because I really want to be better and I want you to be a better parent. So as we end this year 2022, I really want you to have a reflection, check the key things that will make you achieve your positive parenting and check were you able to achieve them. If yes, once again, congratulations. And if you were not able to achieve them, what were the reasons why you couldn't achieve them? And how will you work on achieving them in the coming year? Let's do it together. Let's work together. Let's keep pushing. We can both do it together. Let's work it together. And together, we can be better parents. My name is Oye, Oye Layo from The Vision Guide. Thank you.